economic impact of the coronavirus pandemic is taking its toll on business worldwide. But for Isa Hajjasin, the outbreak has presented a golden opportunity. The engineering student from Ramallah had one food truck before the lockdown measures were imposed. With restaurants forced to shut and the rise in demand for outdoor dining, his fleet has doubled. Buying street food is preferable to sitting in a closed space, like a restaurant. Customers can place their orders and collect their food without being in a crowd. On the streets, it's easier to keep a safe distance from others. And because there is nowhere to sit, there is less risk of contracting the coronavirus. You just take your food and go. Yasin says the proceeds help to cover his tuition fees and living expenses. And the small business is proving to be a lifeline for those who have lost their jobs during the outbreak. I used to work at the Ambassador's Hotel in Jerusalem, but because of the coronavirus, the hotels are closed, there is no tourism. So I look for work in Ramallah. I knew Isa and started working at the hot dog van. There were no other opportunities at hotels or restaurants. This hot dog van may put food on the tables of Isa and his six workers, at least for a while. But many Palestinians aren't as fortunate. More than a quarter of them were already in poverty before COVID-19. The World Bank says that figure is likely a lot higher now, especially in the occupied West Bank. The Palestinian authorities expect to face a funding gap of over $1.5 billion this year, up from $800 million in 2019. But labor officials say small businesses are helping to bridge some of that gap. We aren't that worried because we have noticed that market is moving towards small enterprises to create new job opportunities. If you look on the streets of Palestinian cities, you will notice a lot of people have started up new businesses or are working in industries that differ from their field of speciality. Yasin wants to expand his operations with two more food trucks and hopefully overtake a crisis that has slowed many business to a crawl. Mustafa Teos, TR2 World, Occupied West Bank.